But while you're down here, and you got everything out of the way, a good time to work on this clutch mechanism. So on the left side there, you can see where the rod pushes into the, basically like a big lever. Comes across over here. There's a, a cotter pin holding that. Then that piece goes up there. I'm blocking my light. And uh, goes up and connects to that assembly back on that side, which you can see then. Let's see if we can get over here and show you what's going on. All right, so there's that. Comes from up inside of the cab, connects to that, comes over to there, and then that goes across. There you go. Anyway, focusing on some different things, but that rod goes across. It's held up there on top of the frame. You can see that uh, there's some questionable uh, bushings and stuff in there. Comes over to here, then that rod there goes down and pushes on the clutch lever. So sorry for some of the sketchy camera work, but basically we got to pull out. There's a cotter pin on that back one on the kind of the left side of your screen. There's a cotter pin on this side. So we're gonna start taking this stuff apart. There's a bracket up top on the top of the frame that holds the, that big tube. Um, and so anyway, we're gonna work on getting a lot of that stuff out of there. And I got a bunch of new bushings and stuff. And one thing for sure is, again, this is a challenging camera work down here. But uh, you can see there's right there, there's a hole in the floor of the truck. So there's a boot that's supposed to go around that clutch pedal rod. Um, we're gonna, I got one of those. So we're gonna fill that hole up so we don't have air just rushing in the cab at your feet. Uh, keep critters out, all that kind of good stuff. But there you can see the, the rod there, there's a thing on top. And then uh, over here on this side, you can see that bracket there with that bolt. And that's where the rod connects. So you can kind of see the whole thing there. Just trying to find angles I can stick my arm and still keep some light for you but anyway so that's that a couple cotter pins here we'll get these things out that one there like I said this one over here and uh, unbolt the bracket from the top I'll show you some more but we're gonna do that and replace the uh, uh, bushings and things like that and then the spring and all that so the clutch pedal should be a lot better at least down here on this end Inside the cab, there's more bushings and stuff, but we'll get this bottom end done because it's a lot easier to do, like I said, when we got the uh, steering box and lots of other stuff out of the way. So, wish me luck getting these things apart. So, these are out. Um, that's the bracket that sits on top of the frame. That is the uh, arm, and uh, it, it sits up in the truck. It sits like this. So, the arm that comes down from the clutch goes into that hole there on the right. And then this sits in here sandwiched between that. And there's another piece back there on the transmission, which you uh, can't see very well, but it's back in there anyway. And then, so in there, this sits like that. And then the other rod goes through this hole down here, which, or it's not a hole, it's a, in, I guess but basically that so that piece goes in here like this there's another one on that end so this thing can swivel like this when you uh, push on the clutch it pulls up on the right side closest to us and then that moves that piece on the bottom pushes the clutch so that's how that works just to show you a little bit this piece it's, uh, there we go. So that piece sits up there just like that. Two bolts. Those right there. Go down into some, uh, basically some welded nuts on the back side of the frame. And so that sits up there like that. So we're going to take these out, get them all uh, nice and cleaned up. I got some new. Uh, they actually use like little felt, you can kind of see a piece over there, like a felt washer that goes over these little uh, bearings and stuff. So 
I'm gonna take this thing outside, brush it off, parts cleaner, all that good stuff. See if we can make this look a lot better and uh, get back to you with the clean part. Uh, for this clutch pedal uh, assembly, did a lot of scrubbing and uh, half a can of degreaser and all that kind of stuff, but we got this piece cleaned up. I did have a little bit of spare uh, spray paint left, so um, I went ahead and uh, threw a little black spray paint on that. Try to make it look like it's uh, in a little better shape. Um, clean this thing up too. Put some on that side because you actually see it when you look in the wheel well. Um, use the last drop of paint. Um, and I didn't get any on this side over here, but that side's against the frame and that side's facing the inside of the truck. You will ever see it uh, unless you're crawling under there. But at least that side when you look in there, it looks like again. Somebody's been there and tried to do something, but man, the, the red clay and all that kind of stuff, uh, had to chisel it off. It was just really bad. So what I wanted to show you down here is, so there's these bushings and they're held on with some little retaining clips that I've got too, but I cleaned this one up a little bit. You can kind of see how it's not completely uh, round inside of there. One side where my finger is kind of, you know, wallered out some. This is what it looked like when it first came out. Just this black, nasty greasiness. Um, anyway, those are going away. Bam, there's a new one. Uh, there's also some felt washers that go in there between the, uh, the brackets and, uh, and this piece, uh, and this piece. So uh, I got two of those. And then these are some little, uh, little bushing pieces that go in like that hole, which you can also see is over the years been wallowed out some. So it's not uh, not perfectly round anymore. If you look at uh, that piece right there, it's got a little groove in it too. So that's what happens, but they don't look that bad, honestly. Uh, this one, um, it's got a little bit of a groove under it right there too. But again, not super bad, but Anyway, we're gonna, now that we got all that done, I uh, chiseled some more dirt off, got a whole dust fan full of that clay off of the frame and underneath there. So we're gonna go ahead and start putting this stuff back together, throw this old junk away, and uh, hopefully get this whole assembly tightened back up and, and feeling better than it did before. So here's a hole in the floor that I showed you earlier. Uh, this is from the top side. So you can see there, there actually is like a rusted, metal bracket there with a couple of uh little prongs that bend over they're kind of hard to see but they're in there um so we got this new rubber gasket here that may be the way it goes just like that yeah i think it goes that way but Oh, that is, it can catch junk down in there, so I don't know. We'll figure it out, but uh, I'll, I'll spare you the uh, challenges there. We'll, we'll see what we can do. We'll probably get it in the wrong way, but it'll be in, so then it'll be, is what it is. Anyway, step one, because I got to do this while I got all that junk on the bottom one undone, so anyway, we'll get this in, and then we'll move on to putting the rest of it together. The uh, reassembly has started here. So this is the uh, what I was talking about. So there's that felt kind of washer deal. Then you got this uh, plastic um, bearing kind of bushing thing. There's a little clip on there. I got to do one of those, even though the old one was fine, I guess. But I didn't know if it would be. So you can see that's on there too. So that's all set. This piece um, is what sits right on top of the frame rail right there. You can see there's uh, two holes there where it goes. And then you can look over there and see that I've already put the uh, the felt, um, there we go, put the felt on the, uh, and the bearing and all that on the other end. I didn't even take that off. You see there's two bolts there, you could, but I didn't. So anyway, cleaned it off, put that new pieces and parts on there. Um, now I have to install that, uh, Kind of lever mechanism and then put this piece uh this piece back on next and it kind of sandwiches in between these two things uh, i've already test fit make sure everything seems to fit good so 
I'm going to put that all back together and I'll show you what that looks like uh, when I get done. So there it is. Um, you see here's a new black piece on top. Just those two bolts. Uh, sorry for some of the light, but anyway, that's about the best I can do for light. Anyway, there it is. You can see that thing's reinstalled. See all the little washers, everything. But that's sitting there ready to go. Um, now I just have to hook up the, the rod that comes down from the pedal. And then the rod that goes back to the uh, to the clutch lever on the uh, on the transmission and should be all set. So there's that one. Um, went ahead and put that little plastic bushing in, and then uh, that washer. That's the one that was on there. It's kind of big, but regardless. And then I got the uh, actual car pin thing in there. So just a chunk of wire that they had in before. So that thing's all set, and uh, let me tell you, it's a lot tighter than it was before. When I first did this, that thing wobbled around like crazy um, when I was trying to take it apart, but now it's pretty tight. So anyway, that's that. Now I just got to go down and do the uh, other side, uh, and we'll be all back together on the clutch.